Hello, Bayside. Bayside and Golf. This is Pastor Rosindo, and I want to share a couple things with you here on Teaching Kids Tuesday. The theme uh, that I want to discuss with you today is training a child, training our kids to, to grow in faith, to know Jesus, and to, to stick with him. Proverbs 22, 6 reads, train a child in the way he should go, and when he is older, he will not turn from it. And training a child in the way he should go is a great uh, encouragement for us that what we pour, what we do to pour into our kids right now will have results long after uh, we're aware of it, perhaps. And of course, we want to see those results sooner than later. And some of us, if you're like me, you start wondering, am is anything that I'm doing right now actually training them or am I training them? What am I actually training them to do? So to that end, I want to suggest this, that when we unleash compassion in the name of Jesus, we serve him by loving the people around us. We are demonstrating for our kids and in so doing, training them to pursue God, to, to walk in faith. And we're putting, putting Jesus on display for them. And now when we ask them to join us, in reaching out to our neighbors and loving our community, reaching out to our families in service to God, when they join us, then they are actually being trained in such a way when they're older, they're always going to be able to look back and know that in my family, faith was real. It was authenticated with actions. And that's an incredible way and a powerful way, a promising way to train and teach our, our kids. Easier said than done. But we have a church family that helps us to do that. This is what we're going to be doing as a church. A couple of compassion projects I want to let you know about right now. And there's going to be more to come. But would you please dive into these two? One, there's a new uh, initiative to reach out to up to 34 uh, elderly shut-ins in, in our community. Our rocker community are heading this up. And they have um, organized a way for us to assemble lunches and distribute them. They need from us, the church, to bring in non-perishable snacks like granola bars, drinks, uh, any other snacks that can be put in these uh, lunches. They will take care of the, the non-perishable uh, part of these lunches. They're gonna assemble them on Mondays and then distribute them and, and just a few of them will go out with practicing social distancing and keeping it safe. But they're gonna make sure that these uh, citizens, our neighbors uh, in Galt are actually getting their needs met, not just uh, their uh, for food, their physical needs, but really being ministered to and having uh, eyes on them and hearts extended to them to know how they're doing, to see how we might as a church be able to continue to minister to them in a broader way. So let's dive into that. You can text me at 916-396-5753 for arrangements on when to deliver these goods. You can help financially or you can to actually go out and buy as much as you can or as little as you're able to, uh, non-perishables to contribute to these meals. The other thing that you can do is also we are going to be reaching out to Lake Canyon Elementary and what we want to do is appreciate them. The teachers are working as hard as they can. We're gonna start with Lake Canyon and if we're able to expand to other schools, that would be great. Next week is teacher appreciation and we want to uh, appreciate them. So this is what I'm asking you. Will you please write a note of encouragement, a, a prayer, uh, just a word of thank you, anything uh, for up to 72 staff members. And you could select which age range or which class level from pre-K all the way up to sixth grade, or you can choose to write a note for every single grade level. We're gonna make sure that these teachers get these notes. You can all drop these off to me or here to the church, also texting uh, my same number, 916-396-5753 for arrangements to do so. One more thing I would like to ask you to do. We would love to give them uh, a thank you via a Starbucks gift card in the denomination of $5. Maybe you can do one, maybe you can do a few of these cards, but uh, we would love to be able to provide, provide each teacher. There's 32 teachers and 72 staff that support uh, the teachers, so 72 total that is. If we can hit 72 $5 cards, that would be great. If everybody in our church did one $5 card, that would be more than enough. So as you can, can you contribute to that so that we can share the love of Jesus 
to those that are working so hard right now to pour into our kids and, and to care for them. Let's join them in, in doing that as well. Thank you for uh, spending this time with me. I hope this has been of some encouragement to you and motivation to unleash compassion, both individually as a family and as a church. Jesus loves you.